Hello, good morning. It's Nicole Toscano from IBC Amsterdam 2017. Today we are here with Mr. Nicola Moreau. Hello. Hello. Hi, thank you. So we're talking about the um, IP industry today. So first question is, how do you think the IP industry is placed in the market today? And how do you think it's evolving? Okay, well, um, I have to say that uh, the um, IP uh, life technology has really made a lot of progress so far. And most of the major uh, projects that we're seeing for live production, could be for studios or mobile application or remote production, they are all coming with the IP question now. And what is nice is to see that there is a really a good will of most of the manufacturers to join uh, a very uh, deep level of interoperability. And this is demonstrated uh, at the IBC, not only on Sony's booth, but also at the IP showcase in uh, room uh, E106 today, where uh, Sony is making a, a big part of that, as we are demonstrating a complete system camera working with SD2110, but also um, uh, a vision mixer and uh, SDI2 IP gateway that are working with NMOS technology for device discovery and registration, and also for uh, connection management. So these are really good sign, I would say, to, to send to, to, uh, to the, the audience, our customer, that IP is a real thing and it's the, the real deal. And everything is coming together from most manufacturers now to really bring system all together with multiple vendors. Okay, so recently there have been some speculations about potential client being a little bit dubious, uh, having doubts about the effective uh, uh, stable stability of the system, of the whole technology. How would you respond, you respond to, to those, um, you know, gossiping around about that? So, well, one of the best answers is to just witness the proof. And here on that stand today, we are making two demonstrations that are absolutely relevant. Uh, we have this uh, remote uh, integration demonstration. So all of our live production fields that we are making from the, the studio stand uh, that we have on the booth here are actually produced thanks to the hardware that we have located in a data center, which is in London, in UK. So I think that's a very good proof of the robustness and reliability of what we give as we want to demonstrate the very latest technology. Still, we don't have to have the equipment there and that's the beauty of IP networks and IP technologies that you can have all your processing done in a data center so you can save space for your gallery, for your studio, etc. And there are many companies that actually have got to come together in order to collaborate in a very innovative way using IP technology. And as you may know, there are also many other 30 parts um, companies okay, that are working with Sony. So how do you think this is integrated in the, in the business and how do you think all the companies together have got to meet for uh, the same vision in order to enhance this, this market of the IP technology? Well, what is sure is that uh, over the last two years we have witnessed a lot of uh, organization uh, pushing for standards like the AIMS organization, for example, uh, trying to promote a certain set of standards, but also the Amway, uh, AMWA organization, where Sony have just became a principal member of that organization, helping to make sure that not only there is interoperability, but there is a lot of advantage of using IP Live technology. The uh, work of the Amway promoting the uh, protocols of NMOS IS04 and IS05, where Sony has uh, strongly uh, contributed into that, is really a good sign that uh, you will uh, be able to have an, a, a complete ecosystem that works with, uh, with uh, IP Live production, where not only just the video uh, is capable of working with each uh, equipment, but more than that, uh, the, the, the connection and the operation are simplified. So the idea is to turn that into a system which is as much plug-and-play as possible. Of course, it's uh, still a little uh, more complex than uh, it was uh, with the very well-known SDI world, but still, it gives so much great advantage to have everything connected over a network that uh, it's worth to, to, to go into that direction. Okay, very good. So last question, how do you think the IP technology will evolve in the market? And to you, what are the key points? that really could make the difference for the IP technology in the whole market for the future? Well, um, I would say there's still a lot of challenge to, to achieve for the overall industry when it comes to IP. And of course, um, 
uh, 4K is still a, a strong challenge. Uh, one of the challenges today is that uh, uh, Sony can deliver a 4K over IP technology since you know, almost three years, four years, and that's working great. But there's still a lot of standards to, I would say, ratify and implement uh, to make sure that 4K is there, uh, especially with uh, the, the compression story, which is not uh, settled yet. So we are uh, hoping that uh, standardization bodies will uh, uh, work hard to, 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 to provide uh, this, this part indeed. Uh, after that, there's still also a um, lot of challenge when it comes to having, um, I would say, a, a very open uh, software-defined network. Uh, that's uh, probably one of the other topics where the industry still need to work on to make sure that it is easy to connect two sites together that have been designed through different uh, uh, network architects, etc. So there are still a lot of work to do in that sense. But we already uh, have uh, good uh, projects that have uh, been deployed that shows that there are great benefits uh, into uh, the adoption of uh, IP Life production. Okay, thank you very much for your answers uh, and from Mr. Nicola Moreau, Nicole Toscano, IBC 2017. Thank you. <laughs> so we are here now uh, referring to the 8K camera. So talk us more about this product and also what is the strategy, strategy on the market and how do you see this strategy evolving with this camera? So this is uh, UHD 8300, our brand new 8K camera that we just introduced today into the market. Um, this is the camera that is, it is built for the upcoming future production of, of, of 8K. Of course, we also know that in, in Europe, this is not going to happen immediately. But one thing is that in other parts of the world, like Japan, Korea, in Japan, for example, um, 8K test broadcasting will start from next year. So that means there is a need for these tools. And this, similar for Europe, you can use this 8K camera, 8K camera to, uh, to cut out the 4K image or the HD image and then be able to zoom out and zoom and, and, and pan and zoom within the 8K images uh, in order to have um, the flexibility even for 4K production. So it makes a lot of sense to create an 8K camera. Um, of course, we also know that this will be not be the, the standard um, but it is based on the same design principles like um, HTC 4300, which is our um, award-winning, um, very highly acclaimed uh, 4K um, system camera. Okay, and how about the integration of the whole workflow, uh, referring mixer and all the other um, you know, accessories? How do you think you're going to integrate this with the camera, if you're going to integrate it, and when? Well, this is the first product that we have in, a, in, in 8K. That means it will take some time before um, this functionality runs or will uh, go into other products. Um, so bear with us, uh, it will take some time, but um, I, I can imagine that for special productions, um, this camera will be uh, very versatile and very um, useful because it also features 120 frames per second. So you can do slow motion um, recording with that camera. How do you think Sony is competitive in the market with the introduction of this new camera? Well, we, we show, we definitely show that we are uh, the technology leader in, uh, in this industry. Um, uh, this camera was based on, on feedback that we received from NHK, the Japanese broadcaster NHK. We worked together, we received feedback and created our own camera in order to show what is possible. So thank you very much again, Mr. Klaus and Klaus Pfeiffer, Nicole Toscano, IBC 2017 for digitalproduction.tv. Thank you.